Listen, what do you do when you have a wealth of information that you'd like to share via social media, but you have no clue where to start? Well, look no further. Help is on the way. Live from Barbados, our next guest is a digital content creator and founder of Jill Media PR and Communications. She's Tracy Highland, and she joins us to discuss creating your how-to content for social media. Hey, Tracy, morning. Hey, hey, good morning. So happy to be here. It's awesome having you. Uh, first of all, let me start with you. What prompted you to, to start this business venture, helping people to create content? Oh, wow. Well, I have been in the media business for many, many years. Um, I started my interest when I was 19 years old, and that is a long time ago. I've actually been managing social media accounts for almost 10 years now. My business still media does social media management and content creation. But I never really um, did content on my own, you know, creating content for myself, for, for, my, for my business. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with the pandemic, you know, everybody started a reckoning on life and, and started thinking about things and, you know, are you doing on your love? And, you know, I had put so much effort in making content for other people. I've, I, I kind of forgot my own voice in the space. So last June, I decided to just go for it and start up the Instagram page um, to just help people because people were kind of struggling with how to use leverage social media to help them in business, especially with the pandemic and everybody being shut in and in sight. Yes. You have to find other ways to do business. Um, and people started asking me to speak. I did a panel with the CBD. I do workshops with this um, regional um, organization called Ten Habitat that helps entrepreneurs and stuff like that. And I just wanted to extend it so that I could reach more people. Um, I help people on a more consistent basis because, you know, I only have so much time to do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So that's, that's how um, the whole Instagram and content sharing and, and coaching came about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's very important because, as you said, a lot of people kind of ra just ran on. And if you didn't have the background in it, um, it, it did more harm than good <laughs> because you wanted to share, but you didn't share it right. And so this morning, we're going to walk through some tips um, on, on how to create social media content. All right. So we have some lower thirds that are going to pop up for me any second, and then we'll talk about them. Um, and yeah. the first thing says, create content that will add value your to your followers' lives. So this is the thing. A lot of people jump on social media and they think, okay, I'm just going to post what I feel like posting, you know, without thinking about their audience. And the one thing that you have to think about is your audience and what they need. So that's the first tip I would give you is that, you know, post stuff that will add value, post stuff that will help. Even if you're selling something, you have to go through that step of establishing trust with your audience first before they'll even buy from you. Mm -hmm. So you have to help them. You have to give to get is what I always tell people. Yeah. Yeah, very important um, because some and, and adding value can come in many different ways. You know, it mm -hmm. can be entertainment value, it can yes. be social value, educational value. You need to know who your followers are. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly right. You know, it could be that they just want entertainment. If you're there for laughs, then you know, post stuff to make people laugh. But after a while of doing it, you'll come to see the kinds of things that people want from you. For example, in my case. You know, I started out doing a particular thing, giving particular tips. And then I realized, wait a minute, every time I post a can for tips uh, that helps with graphics, people were engaging with it. So that's what they wanted and they needed in that space. So I started doing more of that. And I think that, that has contributed to the a lot to of it. my social media. Yeah. Yeah. So this, I see you have the second slide up here. Yes. Create original content. Add your own yes. voice and experience to the social space. Oh, that's, that is I think one of the major things, because once you start sounding like everybody else, people are going to, you know, who do they listen to if you sound like everybody else? Exactly. It is so important. And a lot of times it's easy to just repost what you see. And some, some pages do do that. That's their thing. They curate content so people can find it in one place. But if you can create original content, and even if you see something, just use it as inspiration and think, how has this impacted me? Or how has my experience been with this? Especially in the social media space, I'm really happy that I'm a Caribbean voice in the social media space because it's, it's overrun with like North American stuff and, you know, European stuff, but not a lot of Caribbean voices and our experience is very different. So don't be afraid to talk about your experience because people around you, people in the region will connect. 
with what you have to say. Tracy, more than people in the region, I'm looking at some of the top names in social media and they are referencing yeah. Caribbean experiences That's and Caribbean stories and people are tuning into them for that. So we need to as well. This says, mm -hmm. keep your concept right simple. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Simple and on brand. No, we want to get the big lights and camera and moving. Talk to me about this, Tracy. Simple? Um, when I say simple, I mean, when you go to um, give a piece of content or do a how-to or, you know, just share with your audience, it is really hard when you are trying to share 10 concepts in a very short period of time. You know, short form video is the way to go in terms of social media content. And to do short form video properly, you have to really condense what it is that you're trying to say. So, and the on brand part is really important too, because you have to, like you said before, know your audience and you have to kind of just come up with maybe three or so themes that you're going to um, push your content around so that it's not all over the place, right? I'm social media. If I'm given a tip, I'm not going to go and do a tip on how to make sushi, even though I could just like, but, you know, people come to my page for social media tips. So I'm very aware of that, especially candy tips. So I will give them the things that they need in order to grow or what they've come to me for. So you have to keep that in mind. Keep it simple. Keep your concept simple. Deal with one piece at a time. So if you have a complex situation with many different pieces, break it up. You know, you don't have to do all in one post. No. Time. You, know, you can break it up, you know, and it gives you more content, you know. If yeah. you can break something into five pieces. And you can break it up across different parts of the platform, as we're oh, saying. Use different can. parts, IG Live, yes. IG Stories, IG TV. I, do, I still don't work out the stories part. <laughs> I'm still trying to learn the live. And yeah. <laughs> no, but stories is so easy. That's probably, to me, the easiest part of the platform because you don't really have to do a lot. You don't have to be perfect. There's stickers there. There, there are engagement stickers, which are invaluable because you can get feedback from your audience. Um, it's just not it's gone in 24 hours it's not you know it's not permanent um but yes use all the different parts that are available to you and instagram itself has been pushing this you know and they want people to do that so you know if, they, if it's coming from their mouth then you know you should follow with that so the yeah. ig lives are great because it allows you to interact right away with your audience you can also pull in, in interesting people it's a way for you to grow your account as well because when you do pull in a guest, it pulls all of their followers with, with, with them. Absolutely. So it's a great way to grow. Yeah. Yeah. And finally, add movement to your graphics or use video. Yeah, video is really important. Um, Instagram head, Adam was there, he said it himself. You know, they're looking to video content as a way of the future. So you have to get on that train. And with video, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate. You know, short form video is where it's at. So, you know, something within 60 seconds, very short and succinct. There's several apps that allow you to create video. Even if you're not um, a seasoned video creator, you can look to Canva, which is one of my favorites. You know, yeah. you can make videos in Canva. You can do graphics in Canva. There's InShot. Um, there's Magisto, which is fantastic. You can just um, capture little clips and then Magisto just puts it together for you into a wow. fantastic video that wow. looks like somebody, you know. Yeah, somebody did it. <laughs> yeah, so Vimeo creates. There's so many apps yeah, so that many. help people. So it kind of levels the playing field a bit. You know, just because you're small and you have a small budget doesn't mean that you can't play with the big dogs on social media. You still can produce content that is, that is engaging and that, you know, puts eyes on you and your product. Awesome. Tracy, it was awesome talking to you. I'm going to apply <laughs> some of what you've said. Thank you for joining us. No problem at all. Tracy, Tracy Highland, digital content creator and founder of Jill Media PR and Communications. Coming up next, we continue on the social media tips as Neville and I play a game of what's new in Appland. <laughs> 